What am I doing in here? A cot. Just a cot. Hey, could Christopher's camp here? Not been used for days. Okay, well... I mean... Maybe this is going a bit further into the... Than, I feel like I'm not giving, like, enough... Aha, so I was right. Okay, ha, <laughs> see. That could have applied to any lamp, in fairness. Okay, well, that one's pretty clear, isn't it? The dragon gazes upon our pri on our prize, and we'll head back and we'll grab that clue once we have found the final dragon bone. Speaking of, how many... What's all this, anyway? A merchant in the Black Marsh betrayed several young... Yeah, uh, soon kill himself. I mean, suicide note contained a map to his hidden cache. Tearing the veil provides a glimpse of the fate. Given the non-physical nature of these strange phenomena, there's nothing you can do about them in the real world. And therefore, we have put an entry into your journal to signify that nothing can be done about it. It's going to hang there forever. <laughs> hmm. There's gotta be something we can do. Maybe we can send Sif in there. I think he'd do quite well. Nathaniel. And what do we want to get you? You're doing pretty well in all things. Let me just do that. Kind of could be higher. Hey, um, I specialized you into Duelist, didn't I? Okay, here yeah, we can still work on that a little bit. A bit of this stuff. Vitality, man and stamina, pickpocketing, not interested. Let's get a bit more vitality. You tend to be in the bit of a thick the thick of it a bit more. Feign death. That is a helpful skill for him. Stamina's partially restored whenever the assassin fills an opponent with a backstab. Unfortunately, I never use backstabs with Nathaniel. Uh, but he's got all these assassins. He's got all these abilities based on his backstabbing ability, but it's so much of a pain in the ass to like to, to micromanage that in, in combat. I might start doing it manually, but... Okay. Master Archer. Not unless I really want you wearing heavy armor, and I think you're okay with it. Flurry, nope. Repost, how about this? Critical damage. Nice. Bleeding class rations. And this? Bonus to attack, but it's a mode I have to manage. How about the rest of this stuff? Movement speed, keen defense. Strike the vitals. Okay, cool. Well, I, I like those. They're kind of, uh. I think they're kind of lukewarm. Look at this. Aha! Uh -huh. I like this a lot, actually. Striking each target in a manner that increases all damage for the foe suff suffers for a short time. Could be very helpful, actually. Okay, balance it out between uh, this and this. Do I want you kind of getting in with the two weapon thing? I want to actually be building towards it now, so let's build towards it now. Whatever, we'll get that the other bleeding thing later on. I quite like the passive ability at the moment. If only because I just went through your tactics and I, I honestly, I can't even... I can't even bother thinking about your tactics at the moment. Okay, so what else have we got on the horizon? Dragon bone over yonder. Turn the veil, hidden clue. There's a chest down there too. Okay, well let's head this way. Circle of standing stones. Never ominous. Never ever. Hello. What's that coming over the hill? Is it a marsh wolf? It is a marsh wolf. Ah! Get him off me, please. <laughs> Tell me that works. No, of course it fucking did. Nathan, you okay? You're okay. Petrify is the worst fourth tier move I have ever encountered in my entire life. And I appreciate this may be a perspective thing in the in the similar Oh shit, Valana, what's happening to you and why are you dying? Uh group heal. Like back when Nathan was missing all the time, back in his early levels. Why are you slow, Nathan? That that shot took ages. That's more like it. What the hell is that? I don't know, it didn't do shit for it though. It looked like a positive thing. Valana, was that you? I don't know. Sif? Never seen it before. What is this? I'll get on it. The Baroness's secret. The veil is weak near the stone circle. Perhaps it's my rituals, but I suspect that it has always been weak here. I feel traces of old ancient magic. Maybe this is what drew me. I think the girls feel it too. 
As we approached the circle, they sensed something was wrong with me. Did they fear me? Something about this place is changing them, claiming them for its own. It is conceivable that using their blood to reinvigorate me traps our souls in the fade. Perhaps they become the same demons, ghosts, spirits who invade my dreams. I... No, it doesn't matter. They are nothing. Peasants. Well, I am the Baroness of Orlay. Hmm. Okay, no. Definitely not Flemeth, then. Um, doesn't seem like her style. Do up herself. She's an evil woman. Having said that, you see the way that evil makes excuses for itself? How that even like an evil person is that I know these people are equal to me and I do not care. I am choosing my life over theirs. It's not like that, is it? It's more like... Oh, look at the desire demons dancing in the bell. Don't be foolish. Just look at them, aren't they beautiful, Nathan? Huh. Awesome. Never actually, never actually noticed that before. I should go have a look at the, through the other veils. Yeah, they're more like no, their their lives don't matter. I deserve more, which is yes, yeah, selfish and and definitely evil itself. But it's more like they are justifying it in their own head, so they don't think of themselves as evil. It's a very important thing, especially when like uh, like creating and writing villainous characters to think about the way that they might uh more desire demons that's got to mean something can't just be desire demons that can't just be a coincidence writing evil characters to make them have some justification for their behavior because there are very few mustache twirling villains in the world although for the record sometimes that works look for example at a sauron from lord of the rings the lord of the rings in general is not a genre which invites do i have enough bones am i meant to be heading back yet I don't think I do, so I'm heading back prematurely. Sauron from Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings would not work unless there was an unambiguous evil for everybody to band together to face. That's just the thing. The, the villain couldn't be complex. They couldn't be redeemed at all. And that, that's right. That's how that story should have gone. It was the right call to make for the genre that it was in. Oh. I like villains. I like I like all characters who have like strong moral devices in one way or another. I find them all very interesting. Can I get through here? No. Villains are something that I've only kind of recently learned to appreciate a bit, a bit more. Hmm. It's all that over there. Penguins? Could be. Or desire demons. Aha! Here's the hidden cash. Gems. Blood money. Whoop! Oh, hello. Watch out for the shadow werewolves. None present at the moment. Okay, just on Nathaniel's thing working properly there, that's... That's good to see. How do these werewolves get all this gold? Right there, Nathaniel. I'm gonna start... Why not all lead with that? Skull Crusher, White Steel, Ogren. Sounds like something for you. Yeah, hey, you have an injury because you went down, so wouldn't Nathaniel come to think of it? Uh, Skull Crusher, oh, it's just a mace. It's a normal mace with a chance to stun. Still pretty good, though. Can I hold on to it for a later date? It's quite interesting to have nobody in the party wielding I do? a sword and a shield except for Nathan, isn't it? Like, he's just, you know. We don't have that shield-based defense guy. In fact, in terms of like abilities, people are like fairly focused on their own thing in one way or another. Nathaniel's only a lot more generalized because I made him so. I mean, this, could they be working to keep the veil open? If they do, then they may have a vested interest in something here. Wouldn't surprise me if a demon was desire of desire was responsible for the manipulation of the Baroness. Possibly. No end. The fuck? Things. Not penguins. They not are it. not penguins. Oh jeez. 
Horde-tastic. Um, okay, let's see. What has Volana got up her sleeve for stuff like this? Plenty, quite honestly. So let's just get her in the middle. Become rooted. And then use the thorn blades. Is there enough in range to do it at the moment? Don't use the thorn blades. Instead, just um, do some. I don't know. Use your imagination. Petrify this guy for no reason. Oh no, she gets out of that every single time, and now she's got the cooldown going. That's. kinda my fault. Okay, uh. Volana's being overwhelmed, that's less than ideal. Bear, bear, who's got the bear? I need you to slam the Shelter Grub. Ogren, pommel it, pommel it, pommel it, pom Oh, he can't pommel. Uh, I right, just kill it then. There we go. Now use it. And now use it. Ah, diggity death, Bill. Who healed you, Velana? Do these creatures change? Do they evolve? I mean, like, grubs tend to be formulative. Thanks for that mental image there, Velana. Still. It's a valid point to consider. It's nothing nearby, anyway, no loot. Who's this? Oh dear. Oh dear, that's a shame. Oh, it's my favorite folk. <laughs> oh. Yes, that is your Grey Warden. The mother told it to me that if he was lured to this place and slain, that in time you would come. It was a trap, and we are all fools for falling into it. And the mother, she was right. The mother is always right. The mother. This is my first conversation with the Darkspawn. Don't know if you're keeping track here. I'm going to choose my words rather carefully whilst I pour my beverage. Who's this mother? Did she say you'd pay for killing a Dark a Grey Warden? You want to come to ambush me, I suppose? They'll make that clear in no time. Who is this mother? The mother is she that sent me. She that wished you to come to hear this place. Ugh. I, here before you, is the first, and I am bringing to you a message. The mother, she is not permitting you to further his plan, whether this you know or not. So she is sending you a gift. What? Hold on! Bollocks, I think I've just been teleported to the fate again.